Every time Rose opens her garage door, <laughs> so triggering. Actually, I've snuck into my house so many times through doggy doors, and I learned it on that movie that I can fit through them. Oh and I God. lived in fear that some other little kids in the neighborhood, would there be like a dad and a son team, like breaking into houses through doggy doors because they saw Scream, and that's how they were going to hit me. Please welcome the panel of Scream! Right this way, have a seat. They're all for you. Yes, yes. Come on down. We have microphones for everybody. Park it right here at the bags. Bag check. Ah, what's up, everybody? Yay! You guys have made this the steamiest room in Pittsburgh. No doubt. Uh, I just want to start by expressing an incredible amount of gratitude for each and every one of you who came from wherever you came from to say hello to us. Uh, we love you all individually. We try and express it all day long. Um, sometimes we're tired. Matt's usually cranky. <laughs> but seriously, thank you. We love you. Happy holidays. And uh, let's have a good time. All right. Let's... Kyle, let's get our first question. Let's make this magic happen. Name and question. My name's Alex. This is the most important question you're going to get today. <laughs> For each one of you, what is your favorite pie? Yeah. Wow. Don't even. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Blueberry. You're good, you're good. Cherry. Yes. Strawberry rhubarb. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Strawberry rhubarb, that's a good one. I'll go with that. I'm going to go with key lime. Chocolate cream pie. <laughs> Chicken pot. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Oh, nope, we're not done. I don't have a good answer. <laughs> not pumpkin. I like ice cream. All right. I All like right. Pumpkin. Next young, question, please. Young lady. My name's Lillian, and what's your first scary movie? The first one we ever saw? First? That you, wow. Great question. Great question. Mine was Halloween. Mine wasn't a movie, but Salem's Lot. I remember when that, like, oh, that was terrifying. Terrifying. Mine was The Changeling. With George first C. ever? Scott. Yeah. I'm I'm going to say mine was Showgirls. Absolutely <laughs> frightening. <laughs> every con, he says the same thing. <laughs> it's good every time. Uh, the scariest thing I ever... I, I read uh, Pet Cemetery when I was like your age, and that was... I, I read it, and that was terrifying. Amityville Horror. Ooh. Good one, good one. What's Sorry. <laughs> it's my Bro, fault if I didn't make it you up. You had something in your Amityville. Oh, I know, but that's just how I sound. <laughs> the first horror really film I saw end to end, or beginning to end, was Scream at the premiere. Oh. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Wow. I, we weren't allowed to watch horror films growing up, and I just never, I stayed on with that. So it was really the first time, and it was... It was uh, scared the shit out of me, and I'm glad we're all still here. Wow. <laughs> yeah, really? Wow. She's five-year-old. She's five years old. I know. <laughs> I'm kidding. Every time Rose opens her garage door, <laughs> so triggering. Actually, I've snuck into my house so many times through doggy doors, and I learned it on that movie that I can fit through them. Oh and I God. lived in fear that some other little kids in the neighborhood, would there be like a dad and a son team like breaking into houses through doggy doors because they saw Scream and that's how they were going to hit me. I saw I was like a wow. nine-year-old and a dad that was in my mind and they were going to come see, hammer me. See what I mean? Triggering. <laughs> see? All right. You unlocked next, a memory. Next, next question. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Good job. That was awesome. My name is Grant, and first of all, I just want to say thank you for making Scream my all-time favorite horror franchise. <laughs> thank you. And I guess my question is this. West, I read an interview a while ago that Wes Craven kind of said that you guys were never allowed to meet Roger Jackson unless you talked to him on the phone. So my question is, have you ever gotten the chance to meet him? 
We, yeah, we do a lot of these cons with him now, actually. <laughs> so yes, we have met him. He, he's more than just a voice box, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, we did, we were, he, he hit him from me uh, during a scream, too. So I didn't meet him until after uh, my untimely demise. I couldn't believe it. I had this conversation with Wes. I had Roger on the phone. I mean, it was like, what do you mean? He, you, you have him come to all the sets and he stays in different hotels and we never get to meet him? Is he at the restaurants we go to? Like, and I was, uh, he was uh, like joking with me. I was, I was like, uh, he's on the phone now. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> like, oh, he's right here. He's around. Can he see me? I can see you. It was so funny. And our next question. Uh, hello, guys. My name is Andrew, and one of my, my favorite horror films are definitely The Descent and The Scream franchise. Yeah. 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 I would never have gotten to horror films if it hadn't been for you guys, so thank you. Thank, thank you. you. That's awesome. Thank so my, you. You're welcome. So my two-part question for all of you is, what, would, what are your favorite killer reveals and climaxes or favorite moments throughout the Scream franchise, ranging from one to six, but also your favorite your favorite projects you did outside the Scream franchise? That is a, this question has an added addendum. Everybody take a nap. <laughs> we'll start with you, Matt. <laughs> uh, my favorite part of Scream is the end where we're killing people. That, that's my favorite. And then my favorite project that I have worked on, there's been, I feel like every movie you do is a little bit like, your children, whether they're good movies or bad, you sort of fall in love with them. Um, but probably the movie I'm most proud of in my life is a movie called SLC Punk. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I'm most proud of that for you, too. Thanks, buddy. Um, yeah, final sequence of the, in the first movie, I think. I, I, I think it's great. <laughs> um, and uh, I guess... My favorite project was a movie none, none of you will have seen called The Company. I saw it. Um, okay. <laughs> we saw it. <laughs> um, uh, where I got to dance with the Joffrey Ballet. And Robert Altman directed. And, and Nev uh, produced it and created the whole movie. Amazing. Yeah. 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 Um, just like everyone else, I like the end of the movie that I'm in. <laughs> um, the one that I don't think Nev's seen, so she's not that well informed, like how it goes down. But that's just Nev. The rest of you guys saw it, right? Who here saw Scream Six? Okay, just a show of hands. Uh, Nev, did you put your hand up? Didn't think so. Forgot to check. And for me, uh, Young Guns was such an amazing yeah, yeah. experience in the '80s Western. I'm 24 years old. It's a dream. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, I like the I like the turn from the door and the reveal of Matt and I to the end of of the movie. Uh, it was so much fun, and I I thought the way Wes cut it and the t choices, everything were just so brilliant. Um, I don't know. Projects for me tend to be the last one I did, or you know, because you're so invested in the one you just finished or whatever. And um, and Giancarlo Esposito and I did a series that comes out in March that I'm very proud of called Parish. It'll be on AMC. Oh, oh. Yeah, six was all right. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> he saw it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Six I, wouldn't have worked without five <laughs> movies with Dewey in it. We know that. No, no, I, I was just Otherwise, he would have suspected the cop, right? Otherwise, he would have thought it was me. So that's on him. Uh, um, I, I, do, I too love the the reveal in the first one. It was just something great. And they shot it over such a long period of time, it was almost comical. You'd come down, and the father would be tied up again. <laughs> <laughs> like this, you know, they could take the stuff off, but once you kind of put it on, you kind of have to commit to it being on for a while before they could give you a break. So he's sitting here with this <laughs> duct tape on his face. And it's all tied up when they tie him up. I don't know. I used to go by and shoot a bunch on Super 8. 
Um, and then uh, I did a film called Dream with the Fishes that yeah, was really I sweet. Yeah. Story. I remember that. Yeah. That's a great movie. Ooh, yeah. I got one. I'm going to say my moment was the ending of Scream 1. <laughs> that was never shown. Oh, I know exactly what you're going to say. Where me and Nev are untying her father, and I say, would you like to go to a movie? <laughs> and she goes, yeah, as long as it's not a scary movie. <laughs> and the studio said, cut it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was killed in a van, Dermy. <laughs> I died so you could live. You got <laughs> Amen, bro. Can it, you go faster? It was a you every sentence. I was, was dramatic. Like four minutes. There's like a hundred people in line. Sorry. There's 70 people on stage. <laughs> Does anyone else have an answer to this awesome question? Getting, All right. Uh, let's, we move forward. They, they, they're asking us to move to the next, yeah, question. next question. So next question, please. Hi, my name is Charity. Um, and this question's for Skeet and Matt. Um, who really killed Casey? We need to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, go ahead. I mean, I, the, here's the truth, and I know it's going to make everyone very sad. We did the 20th anniversary with uh, Kevin Williamson, and that question came up. Who killed who in the movie? Uh, and we don't know. So whenever Kevin you, didn't even know. Yeah. The writer didn't even yeah. know. So if you want to believe something in your heart, you go for it, Charity. <laughs> Hold that shit tight. <laughs> I think we should ask you who killed yeah. Casey. A lot of people think Stu killed Casey. I think it took both of us to get her in the tree, though. I think so, too. I mean, Stu was taller than <laughs> Billy, but... Oh, she wow. had it coming. <laughs> <laughs> she had it coming. <laughs> All right. Thank you for your question. Thank you. All right, Frankie. Bride of Frankie. <laughs> Actually, my real name is Rainy. But uh, anyways... Uh, Amazing. Yeah, yeah. that last uh, Scream uh, movie, the uh, Scream uh, 6, uh, was it uh, inspired by another uh, film or, or literature? Because it kind of reminds me of the Stillhouse Lake series. Yeah, totally derivative. <laughs> yeah, they, they, totally they copied yourself. everything from that. They copied everything. I yeah, they even Scream. It. Yeah, they, they copied Scream 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. It's true. It's derived from five other movies. <laughs> oh, that's the only ones, right? Those are the only movies? <laughs> Sorry, say it again. Thing? Those are the only uh, movies or books that it's derived off of then? Not that I know of. I, yes. Yeah, I think that's true. Thanks, Randy. Awesome. All right, next question. question. Long Golden Pond. <laughs> Pond. <laughs> this is like one of my favorite movies. Hi, my name is Pixie, and my question's for Matt. Um, I was wondering if you had any words of encouragement for anybody that is currently struggling. I'm so sorry. Struggling with their mental health. <laughs> First of all, I am so honored that you asked me, and, and I appreciate that. Um, yeah, first and foremost, find help. First and foremost, if you're struggling and you're deep in your struggle, then seek somebody that can give you professional guidance. First, I have kids that struggle all the time. We struggle all the time. The thing you have to think of in life is a big picture, right? That the moment is your moment, your life is not defined in little bursts that you have to see beyond today. So my whole thing is I surround myself with people I love. I go back to do the things I love. Um, and then I get out of a moment which is about now and about something way further down the road. And then again, if anyone in this room is struggling, find help, please. Right? And then find joy. Like, do the things you love to do that will bring you back on the path. And there's a great quote going around on TikTok that <laughs> something I'd never thought I'd hear come out of your mouth. <laughs> I'm going to say it wrong, but there's a thing about depression that sometimes you just have to reset your life. 
and there's a moment of resetting, right? So sometimes a bad spell can just be the, the things that we put on in the world saying, I need a moment to reset. So sometimes it's okay just to reset. And it doesn't mean it's a catastrophic moment of reset. And resetting's great. All right? Awesome. Woo. I love you, Matt. <laughs> I, this is also not medical advice. <laughs> I put on makeup for a living. I mean, it's, yeah. Please consult with your doctor before following any of his advice. Hi, my name's Daryl. Um, I'm a big fan of your work, um, of, of you guys in the movies. I owe this all to my girlfriend. Uh, she's the one that got me into the Scream series. Um, I often hear about actors who get to take props from their movie sets. This goes for all of you guys. Do you guys have a favorite prop that you took from the Scream fr franchise and or another movie that you've done? Defying Took. <laughs> <laughs> it can be uh, legal or shady means. It doesn't yeah. matter. Let's take a look at that. From Dream of the Fishes, I have Catherine Moriarty's uh, pasties. <laughs> <laughs> they, had, they had given it to me. It was like in the film and they had given it to me. I have those too. That's so weird. <laughs> I have Tatum's uh, red and white striped pants and white boots because those were mine in the first place. <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah, when the costume designer tried to make me wear denim overalls and white kids, and I thought, no. <laughs> She said, they're very now, and I was kind of savage, and I said, they're very never. And I promptly went to the mall, and thus Tatum was born. Wow. Wow, there you go. There you go. That's great. So, so out of one and two, if I had any idea that this franchise was going to do what it has done... You'd have stolen everything. I would have backed up my truck and just hooked You'd up the You'd have been wardrobe. spying it in the next yeah. room, guys. Yeah, I would, have, I would have just backed up the truck and taken the whole wardrobe department. Um, I still have my um, Scream 2 mask from Scream 2 when I did the whole car sequence with the detectives and, and Nev and all that sequence. I still have that mask. Hmm. Yeah, that was my keepsake. I, I kept my boots, um, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> They're long gone. Mine's kind of the opposite. I lost the tooth during Scream 6. <laughs> <laughs> Left it in Montreal. <laughs> Sadly, I never took a thing. Oh. I know. You're not. Here's the one thing that everybody needs to know is that oh. you're really not supposed to, <laughs> yeah, right. because there's a thing called reshoots, and like yeah. they need everything categorized and saved and blah blah blah. And then if there are no reshoots, you're nowhere near where they where everything was anyway. So it's rare. I I got a good amount of stuff. <laughs> never mind what I just <laughs> said. <laughs> Green Hush Puppies, Bradley video shirt. Uh, I took a pillow that Leo used in Romeo and Juliet. I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> That's gonna make money, that pillow. Uh, I, took, <clears throat> war I took all of Shaggy's wardrobe. Oh! oh! Sweet! Yeah. They, but they had so many extras. And then, um, and then uh, I try to put it on for, we do, a, a lot of people do Make-A-Wish. Warner Brothers does a lot of great Make-A-Wish um, foundation stuff, and I try to put it on. It does not fit. No. <laughs> oh, no. It's a little humiliating, actually. <laughs> you should get it let out a little bit. No, I don't think it goes that far. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for your question. <laughs> Hello, my name is Sophia, and I was just wondering, do you have a favorite horror movie soundtrack? No. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, that's hard. I oh, would say is Screams hard. is pretty great. Yeah. Will you say that? Yeah, I'd have to say that. I haven't seen any horror movies. <laughs> Including Scream 6. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, Animal Horror. <laughs> da da. Da, 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 da. Why are you making that face when you do it? Because it's so creepy. <laughs> you have to to make that sound. I, I don't. <laughs> what do you got, dude? Anyone? I don't know. Fantastic. Do you, I don't do know you have a favorite? Like. 
Um, I don't. I like The Shining a lot, though. I feel oh, like yeah. the soundtrack is really good. The Definitely. Exorcist has an amazing score. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Psycho, for sure. Yeah. Thank awesome. you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Emma, and I know someone asked this question before on a con, but did Ski ever apologize for stabbing Stu many times? Stabbing him? I, I know the question you're thinking of, though. Mo what the one people asked is, did I ever apologize for hitting him with the phone? <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> he thought it was hilarious. <laughs> and then we had to do it repeatedly. Yeah. He's a jerk. <laughs> oh, wait, I meant to say sorry, by the way. Somebody write that down. <laughs> Is it my turn? Hi, my name's Maria. I have a question for you guys. Um, oftentimes, you know, in the movies you said, oh, if this was my life, it would be played by someone. If you were to recast your roles, who would you choose to recast your roles? From any point in history, too. So it doesn't have to be in that time frame. Wow. Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost exactly the same size. <laughs> I'd want to be played by Jimmy Stewart. Ooh. He was amazing. Well, I, 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 just, I just don't see it, you know. <laughs> All the old people laughed. <laughs> no, <laughs> exactly. Everybody else is like, who the fuck is that? My, 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 my mom and dad will be so mad. mad. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, Marlon Brando? As Billy Loomis? <laughs> that's a great question, by the way. No, it's not, because then you have to find somebody that's not you. Oh, you could say yourself. Well, who do you have? I have no idea. I know, I can't think of anybody but you. I can't think of anyone but Nev, right? Uh, the final girl. Final girl. Probably Seth Green. <laughs> it's pretty good. He'd be a pretty good choice. I can't think of anybody. Okay. Goldie Hawn. Yeah, Ortega. that'd be perfect for me. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn for yeah. I think would work. Yeah. Recast down for that. Yep. I don't know. Anyone else? <laughs> um, I mean, they had the stabs. Wasn't it like David Schwimmer? Or <laughs> <laughs> Or, uh, um, yeah. Barney Five? <laughs> wow. Barney Five. <laughs> Barney Five would work. Yeah. What you got? Uh, right. Next question. Hi, uh, my name is Brad. Nice, so, nice shirt, Brad. What's up, man? Yeah, man, I like that shirt. <laughs> That's what they're saying. So, no offense to anybody up there, but the most influential person to me in horror is none other than Wes Craven. May he rest in peace. So I was just wondering if y'all had any personal or just funny moments that you can share, you know, with him in it. I can tell you the simplest one for me was I was at his house, he had a party, he had a lot of different people from different movies, and next to his bed was a license in a frame, and I said, what is that? And he said, that's my cab license. And when he drove a cab in the 70s, and I said, why do you keep that? In your next to your bed, and he says, "Because I want to remember where I never want to go back to." Oh, and I'm nothing against cab driving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Jeez, <laughs> please don't put that on the internet. I'm uh, <laughs> Jamie Kennedy shames the cabs. No, he gets, no, that Jamie that Kennedy absolutely. killed in New York City by Aaron Cab. <laughs> can't catch a cab. <laughs> oh God. That was also the time he was editing porn, so I'm sure he yeah. was. <laughs> yeah, he was a nudist in the 70s, Wes was. He told me, yeah, he told me a story about answering his door naked. Like, <laughs> like people would come in and have to, like, come in to him being naked in his house and have an interview and, like, crazy. Wait, who? What? Wes was a nudist. No. Yes. What? Yes. Nothing against nudist. <laughs> Nev Campbell, cancel. You nudist shaming. Nev Campbell is against the nudist. Anti-nudity. <laughs> yeah, but if you're a nude cab driver, yeah, Nev Campbell, Campbell will only ever wear clothes. <laughs> I think 
we need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say rest in peace? Yeah. Uh, I have a moment. Look, <clears throat> I, I, the thing I always like about these Q and A's is like I like to articulate my life uh, in a real way. So we struggle. Like, so I have ups and downs. I haven't been in a movie in 20 years. I'm in Five Nights at Freddy's. It changed my life, right? So, thank you. But like, when you're not working, shit gets hard. And it's these moments like you have to continue to remember why you're here, what you're doing, and continuing to do the things you love. And so for me, I was on set. I had to borrow the phone to call my mom. It was my mom's birthday. And we had one set phone. It was a cell phone, one cell phone on set. And so I went, and Wes had the phone. And he was talking to Marianne. And I said, hey, can I, can I call my mom? It's her birthday. And they said, yes, that's funny. We were just talking about you. And I was like, why? And then we, Wes said, I was just saying that you're going to win an Academy Award, Academy Award someday. And I was like, shut up. Um, tell my mom that. He's like, I will. So he called my mom and said, your son someday is going to win the Academy Award. It does not matter if I ever win an Academy Award. The point is, is that when your shit is horrible and you feel lost and scared and you can't make it, you have to hold on to these little tidbits that get you through. And so for me, Wes saying that someday I'm going to win an Academy Award is super powerful. And these moments you get to hold on to. So for me, and I think for all of us, he has that, there's like a power to him in our lives that is sort of undeniable. Here we have about 10 minutes left. Can we get a couple more questions in? I got a second question. Uh, Aren't people lined up? Isn't there a bunch of people lined up? Oh, you fools. Now we're just standing now there. We're, we're, now we're with now we got Phil Donahue. People. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Rocky Road. I'm a Rocky Road guy. Mint chocolate chip. Next question. Okay, does anybody on this side of the stage, or this side of the audience, have a question? Come up here if you have a question. Oh, I'll, I'll go. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, you're going to do it? Yeah. Awesome. Let's Hang see. On. All right. This is for all the lazy people in the back. Yeah. Okay, all we're right. going to have them do this. Hi. You have a question? This is Ooh. crazy. Yeah, I have a question. I have a question. Which of you think is your favorite spoof of Scream? Oh, favorite spoof of Scream. I've never seen one, to be honest. Oh, a scary movie. Scary, scary movie. movie. I think there's only one. I didn't watch it. Here we go. Here oh, we yeah. go. Here we go. Real live question right here. All right. Hi, I'm Ariel, and this question's for Matt. Are you going to be in Scream? Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be in Scream 7? If I said yes, wouldn't that be incredible? <laughs> <laughs> if I was in Scream 7, I would never say yes. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. They've never called me. I don't think they give a shit. Although they talk about Stu a lot. Um, hi, what's your question? Sorry. I think I have two, actually. Uh, one for Nev. I wanted to ask, um, how does it feel to be a Scream Queen? And for Lee, do you have a favorite stunt? And if so, would you describe it for us? Hey, great question, thank you. Take it, Nip. Uh, listen, I don't even, it's such an honor to have gotten to play Sydney. I mean, we, have, we had no idea when we auditioned for these roles, even when we made the film, the impact that it would have, I, I don't think there was any way to, to comprehend um, how far these films would go and the effect, the effect that it would have. I'm so incredibly grateful um, that it's had such an impact on people when people come up to me and tell me that somehow Sydney inspired them to get through hard times, that somehow she inspired them to be strong or to grow into a, you know, someone who's not a victim, who, who's a fighter. Like for me, I mean, I got to play this role. I got to work with Wes Craven. I got to work with these actors. But to then have that on top of it, it's such a blessing. And I'm so, so grateful. Nice. Good job. So you got one? No, Lee. No. Oh, no. oh sorry. What? Oh, okay, stunts. the second part, that was stunts. So, man, I mean, obviously I love my stuff in Scream 1, Scream 2. But as far as a full-on heavy action, big action show, 
Um, I doubled uh, an actor by the name of Richard Schiff. He played the character Eddie Carr, I think, in Jurassic Park 2. And I am the guy who got eaten out of that Jeep and ripped in half by the T-Rexes, right? Oh, nice, yeah. dude. That was very exciting. That was, uh, that was an epic stunt, and um, you know it was great. I loved doing it. I didn't break anything, but I, yeah, that was... I still feel that one. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I still got a couple of clicks in a few places from that one. All right, we got one here. Okay, this one's for David. Hello. So, <laughs> hi, sorry, I'll stand up. Hello. Hi. Okay, so, I'm sorry, I'm a little starstruck. Um, my brain went blank. Okay. Um, I, I stood up, I'm sorry. I know, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. David, what was your favorite part of being Dewey? Since he's like such an emotional character, and I feel like everybody was like mind fucked when you died. Uh -huh. So like, um, it definitely. I mean, working with Wes was really just the greatest. Uh, I always felt like he kind of saw a little Dewey in him, and like, especially when he'd throw in these little jokes and like the ice cream scene. Like he was like, here, how, do this ice cream. He's gonna be smoking. You're gonna be eating ice cream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But uh, even like the consolation joke, he just like threw that at me last minute, and I was like, "Sure, Wes," and it was just funny, like seeing his, you know, jokey side. I don't know. That was my one of my favorite, and working with everyone was really just so incredible. And um, I don't know. It really has been such a blessing to be a part of this. Um. We got time for uh, about five more minutes. Let's get two more questions right. in. I have a question back here. By the way, it is hotter than the hinges of hell in the back. <laughs> I have the best fan here. Yeah, it it is like Nirvana up there compared to back here. Oh. All right. Oh, That's a question yeah. for all of you. What was your favorite scene to film in the Scream franchise? Oh, yeah, we we went over that. I think everyone said the last scene except for. Somebody who is in six, which is unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that, that doesn't count against our... This is a good question. This yeah. is a good question. Um, Here we go. Here okay. We... I'm uh, going with Shaggy. <laughs> Shaggy's next. I have a question for Matt and Rose. Um, do you think Stu ever really cared about Tatum? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Bro, did you ever? Mm -hmm. Did you ever? Mm -hmm. Listen, there's only one love of my life in that movie. It's oh. Billy. And he's sitting right here. Standing right there. Uh, me, you mean, right? Yes. Okay, okay. all right, all right. Because I'm not sitting. That's what we're doing. I right. get asked a lot uh, who killed Tatum. Is it Billy or Stu? And I always say, I really hope it was Billy because if it was Stu, I would have to come back from the afterlife and kick his ass even harder. Whoa. That brat. Touché. I don't want it yeah. to be her boyfriend. That would just be like insult to injury. And to the previous question, the favorite scene was definitely like, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. Uh, but, yeah, I think a lot of people remember that. Uh, yeah, Billy and Stu are the first husbands of horror. Woo! Definitely. From a shack. You should see my ring. From a shack. From a shack. I don't even know what that meant. <laughs> that was super weird. I don't even know. When I start thinking about rings and I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, no, stop. Just stop. Stop. Yeah, stop. I stop. All right, from a Shaggy to Shaggy, what is your favorite Scooby-Doo episode? Um, I don't really have one. I love that, listen, I, here's what I love. I love that franchise. I love the franchise because it means a lot to the old people in the room and the young people in the room, and it's still going. I'm recording on Tuesday. So, I mean, it's awesome. All right, I think we have one... Time yeah. for one yeah. more question. Yeah, we got time for one more. All right, who, um, okay, you've been screaming. We, we have some people over Is here who are in line. Oh, good. Wherever. We'll go in the line. So you're the last one in line. There you go. Hi, um, my name is Spencer. I was just wondering if any of your, like, uh, time in films has entered your dreams or nightmares at all. 
because I know for, for a few of you, you've been in some weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has. I mean, it's only, I've only had it happen once. But what I, happened? Uh, <laughs> he finally got it on the first take. <laughs> it's been a dream of his whole career. <laughs> like, let's go again, Skeet. Let's go again. In this golden dreamlike moment, he did it in one. <laughs> <laughs> did I tell you about that? That was that's weird. I didn't know I told you about that. I have a uh, repeating anxiety dream where the camera crew that I'm working with is at the foot of the bed and I can't wake up to act. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, wow. So, yeah. It's anxiety dream. I was in the Phantom of the Opera. It was my first job um, when I was 15 for two years. I did 800 shows. Wow. <clears throat> and when I left the show, I would, I would literally be singing the songs or thinking about the steps of, in the, of the exact minute that they would be performed at that hour <laughs> because I'd done it so repetitively. And I still dream about Phantom, but now I go back and I'm like, I haven't put point shoes on in so long. And I'm like racing to put on these point shoes and I'm trying to remember the steps and all the other dancers are on stage already and I have to go out there and am I going to remember it? So I do have that one. It messes with me. It's <laughs> <sighs> a good question. Uh, I did a show called The Ghost Whisperer and um, that was when I started sleeping with the TV on. I didn't have a dream, but just a lot of weird shit happened. I did a show called Charmed. Yeah. And, uh, oh, thank you. And it was about 10 pages of dialogue a day, and I'd never set foot on a TV set before. And hour longs at the time were much, much harder um, than they are now. They were like 22, 23 episodes. Uh, per season, I would have recurring constant nightmares that I would forget my dialogue and everybody would stare at you and hate you and they would actually start, the craft service would eat, the person who did the food, the physical lady that would do it on, in my dream almost every night would throw craft service at me. <laughs> and I was like, and I would go to work like seeing her in the morning like, <sighs> <laughs> She's like, Rose hates me. <laughs> I was like, she hates me for forgetting lines and costing everybody time. Time is money. <laughs> exactly, the stress. Okay, we good? We good. Okay, we're, before we go any further, you guys are going to be, we're going to be opening the, the middle door. You'll be exiting out the middle door. So once again, let's sound like a full Thank house. The screen panel, wow. it's a full house. Thank Give you, it up. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Love you all. House. Let's hear it. Hi, this is Aaron Ashmore, and you are watching Phantom Spotlight. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe like, like now. Oh, and have fun and follow your fandom.